everybody. Thanks for coming. I'm Kelly. I am going to make two traveler's notebooks eventually, one for starters, and I'm going to do it a pretty simple way, most likely. I've watched Gail Agostinelli's video about this, and she did one quick for her husband, so I'm likely going to go with her, how she did it, approximately. I hope to get it done in the next couple of weeks, because we're seeing that our, our friends were cruising with on the Labor Day weekend, and I want to give it to her, and if not, well, I'll continue working on it in September, and I'll give it to her once we get on board. So, for my first video for this, I'm just going to show you what I'm going to be using, and a little snippet of how I was scanning the fabric, just so you see how that works. And then, as we go along, I will show myself picking out the papers, what I want to use, and, you know, that kind of stuff. So, here's your little sneak peek. Thanks for coming. Bye. Here's some of the supplies I'm probably going to use. I have die cuts, two things of stickers, and these ones are all other stickers, and I have two the same of those ones, and two the same of those ones, this little small paper pad that has anchors and little sailboats, and I think there's whales in there somewhere. Yep, at the back. That, that'll be cute. And I got all these papers from scrapbook.com. So there's a big one. This could even be a cover, maybe. I'm not sure. Nautical sort of just colors. Um, I got this whole paper pack which I haven't opened, but there's some of the papers that are on it. And I have this round of stickers. That was all from scrapbook.com as well. I have a stencil. I think I just bought this at oh, one of the dollar stores. I can't remember. It's a crafter square anyway. And then I have this one that I just bought at a scrapbook store when I was with my sister. I also have those stamps, which could potentially be useful. Red, black, white, and a dark blue ink. A bunch of stuff in this envelope that my friend Callie G sent me. It's like journal cards and stuff. I'll be using that for sure. And underneath, hang on, i got to get the, bo the box off of it. This is printed scanned fabric. I just used the copy paper that was in the upstairs printer. So far, I think it looks good. I do have a slightly heavier bonded paper that might be better to print it onto. I'll try that as well. And I will attempt to print one of the more ink-intensive fabrics. And if that doesn't work out, then it will probably go off to Staples or somewhere and get them to print all the files for me onto cardstock and then it'll be nice and sturdy. But anyway, we'll see how this goes and I'll definitely use this at least and we'll go from there. Thank you very much for watching. See this array of fabric here? I'm going to scan it so that I get a paper representation of it. Now, it's a little bit weird because the lighting is funky down in the office, which is where I am right now. But I wanted to show you what I'm going to do. This isn't the only stuff I'm going to scan. I have other ones I want to do too. But this is going first because I want to make two Traveler's Notebooks. Now, the computer that we just used for our family is right here. And it has the scanning program on it. And rather than shut this off, I'm just going to scan slowly around my husband's office here. Just so you guys don't go all eh, headachey. That's the accounting computer I use. And that's the brother printer that is also a scanner. And that's what I'm going to scan on. Right now, there's not good enough ink in it to print, but it'll scan just fine, and I can maybe print it upstairs on the other computer that I use, or the other printer, sorry. Or I guess if not, I'm going to like Staples or somewhere. We'll see how it goes. Now I'm scanning other fabric. Sorry about the noise, but it's working. I just put the fabric face down on the scanning bed. 